the Bureau of Meteorology from Bruce Gunn. And our cyclone watch is being cancelled. It's now a category one, but you never turn your back on a cyclone. And Bruce will explain to you that the diameter of this cyclone is twice the size of Cyclone Debbie. And we're gonna to continue to watch this cyclone to make sure that Queenslanders are safe. There is still a severe weather warning out this weekend. So my clear message to families from uh, Sandy Cape all the way down to Coolangatta is don't go camping, don't go boating, don't go fishing, don't go swimming, and don't go surfing. There are going to be hazardous conditions on our surf, and there could be waves up to seven metres um, over the course of the weekend, and in some instances it may be higher. We don't want to put other people's lives at risk to save you, so please keep off our beaches this weekend. We might be closed this weekend, but next weekend we'll be back open for business. So if everyone could please heed those uh, warnings, it would be greatly appreciated. We've already closed the vehicle uh, barges to, uh, to North Stradbroke Island and to Morton Island. Uh, the wind gusts are picking up, I think, at Cape Morton this morning. It was uh, recorded over 110 kilometres an hour. Already at Redcliffe, the winds are picking up to 70 kilometres an hour, and this could intensify over the weekend. Also, we have a, um, a high fire danger um, over some parts of uh, uh, Queensland as well. So I'll get Commissioner Carroll to expand on that. But uh, that very high fire danger exists for Darling Downs, Wide Bay, Capricornia and Central Highland. So we're going to continue to monitor uh, Cyclone Oma. Uh, as I said, it's been downgraded. But it is very important that everyone listens to the authorities this weekend. It is going to be hazardous conditions on our beaches. It's already starting. It's going to get worse over the weekend. And I'm asking people, please, don't go out into the surf this weekend. It is going to be incredibly dangerous. We'll now hear from uh, Bruce from the Bureau. Thanks, Ruby. Good morning, everyone. Bruce Cohn, State Manager, Queensland Bureau of Meteorology. Um, earlier this morning, the tropical cyclone Oma was a Category 1 system, about 710 kilometres east northeast of Brisbane, and we're expecting it to continue moving to the south southwest for the next. 24 to 36 hours uh, and regain its Category 2 intensity. Uh, due to the cyclone staying well offshore, uh, we've cancelled the cyclone watch for northern New South Wales and south east Queensland. Uh, however, there remains a hazardous surf warning uh, for the Capricornia coast southwards. Uh, as was mentioned, a severe weather warning for dangerous surf south of Sandy Cape, including the Sunshine Coast, Gold Coast and northern New South Wales today and Saturday. Uh, which is going to cause significant coastal erosion and hazardous swimming conditions leading to the closure of some beaches as was mentioned by the Premier. Uh, water levels of a high tide may exceed the highest tide of the year, uh, but particularly at beaches that are exposed to uh, the large waves that are being produced by tropical cyclone Uh Damaging wind gusts are also uh, a factor along the coastal fringe. Uh, and there are marine warnings for gales uh, south of Sandy Cape for today and Saturday so that uh, boating conditions uh, are hazardous as well. We have cancelled the flood watch uh, that was initially uh, for coastal catchment south of Gladstone. Uh, the as uh, due to the cyclone staying offshore, the rainfall is largely going to stay offshore as well. There will be some rain in the southeast of Queensland over the weekend, but not as much as originally uh, foreshadowed. Um, OMA is expected to take the south southwesterly track uh, over the next 24 to 36 hours and then make a U-turn to the north. Uh, so we're going to keep a very close eye on this cyclone. It is still a tropical cyclone, even though it is well offshore. Um, and it is heading north into warmer waters, so we, we will be updating our warnings regularly the, at, at six hour intervals, uh, the severe weather warnings and the tropical cyclone advices and the next update uh, will be at 11am. I, I just want to um, stress that people shouldn't underestimate TC Oma, even though it's a category 
one at the moment and likely to be a Category 2 uh, later today. Uh, as was mentioned by the Premier, the diameter of this system is huge. It's twice the diameter, about 600 kilometres uh, wide in the extent of strong gale force winds around the centre. The Cyclone Debbie, by comparison, which was a Category uh, 3 or 4 system, uh, sorry, four or four, yeah, 3 or 4 system, uh, was only 300 kilometres in diameter. Um, but it did have the much more intense winds at its centre. So there's a lot of energy in TCIMA that is being um, panned out in terms of uh, large waves and, and uh, its impact on the coast. Um, happy to take questions. Any questions for Goose? Yes, sir. Look, we're not envisaging that at this stage, um, but we're certainly keeping a close eye on it for any intensification and we'll let uh, the authorities know as soon as uh, that sort of possibility is, is a reality. Look, the, the track is uh, heading back north, which it's still got to um, come southwards first and then make that U-turn. Uh, and the, the modelling has been somewhat difficult. Uh, there's been equally matched competing steering forces with this cyclone, which has uh, caused some changes uh, to the track over the last couple of days. But we are expecting, uh, that our best guidance tells us that it will track uh, back to the north. Um, and heads heading into warmer waters, so we'll just have to keep an eye on that um, as it moves. It, it could go further east, um, or it could track, uh, probably less likely, tr uh, to track back to the west towards the Queensland coast. That was a recording of a media conference held earlier this morning. And that was the head of the Bureau of Meteorology here in Queensland. At 4.36pm today, Tropical Cyclone Oma remains a Category 1, with central pressure of 980, located over the Coal Sea near 26 decimal 8 degrees south, 159 decimal 5 degrees east, which is about 640 kilometres east of Brisbane, and 530 kilometres north of Lord Howe Island. New South Wales Bureau of Meteorology has a severe weather warning in place for both the northern parts of New South Wales and the island. The cyclone is moving south southeast at 19 kilometres per hour. Dangerous surf conditions expected along the southern Queensland and the far northern New South Wales case and also about Lord Howe Island over the next few days and early into next week. Beach erosion is likely to continue with the hazardous marine conditions. Water levels on the high tide are likely to continue to exceed the highest tide of the year about the southeast Queensland far northern New South Wales case and also about Lord Howe Island over the coming days. Gale force winds gusts greater than 90 kilometres an hour. It's expected about exposed parts of South East Queensland, far northern New South Wales coast, also Lord Howe Island. And finally in this update, we have a look at the Doppler wind the radar for the Brisbane region. This was recorded earlier this morning and considering the increasing amount of uh, information uh, we'll bring th that to you at the earliest opportunity. You can follow Force 13's outlets. The website force13.com Our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13 On Facebook under the same name force13 and our Twitter handle, it's at Force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord, Fool13, at extension 9094.